Ooh. Bonnie was at the end of the hall. Okay, there was breathing there. Oh, great. Okay, just checking. I have to go check Bonnie here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hello everybody, this is Trojans for Life here, and welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Now I know last, or a, a few days ago, uh, I decided to play Friday Night Funkin', and I know I said in my last FNAF video that we'd be doing this, but I decided to take a break from FNAF and do Friday Night Funkin' for once, which is cool. So, but let's get back into the swing of things. This is Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Again, this is a very unique game. It's very different from the normal FNAF games. Um, so, but yeah, let's, uh, let's begin. Five days until the party. There's uh, Fredbear. What did he do this time? He locked you in your room again. Don't be scared. I am here with you. So, obviously, we play as a little kid um, in this game. As you can see, Fredbear's eyes are moving around. Back and forth and back and forth. And anyway, uh, these are my friends. So, he's talking about these uh, plushies, but in reality, he means his brother's friends. And... Uh, who locked him in his room, his brother did, or he locked himself in his room to hide from his brother. Oh, he's crying. How sad. But anyway, so in this game we play Tomorrow's Another Day. We play as a different character, and obviously there is no cameras, there's no phone guy, it's a very unique experience, and this is what I talked about. So, we're going to click to the door real quick. So, obviously, hold shift, control, and X to high tip. So, so we have to close doors, and you have to shine your flashlight down the hall, and then you flick your mouse back, and you can go pretty much around the room. Um, this whole game, like I said, it's a very unique experience. You have to listen to the, uh, door, um, doors or what's outside just to, um, figure out where the characters are. And again, when I mean, mean unique, You'll see here in a few seconds. But yeah, it's pretty much back and forth um, as of right now. Again, uh, the first night are fairly easy uh, nothing too bad to worry about gosh I remember playing this game when it uh, came out and it was very scary and it still is uh, probably one of the scariest games. I get scared every time going to the door. Um, freaks me out. Oh, wait. There you go. <laughs> you always honk Freddy's nose. No one's there. Let's check this side. No one's there. So yeah, and then obviously the closet, this is where Foxy will go. Um, again, this, this, this game is very um, reminiscing of 
the first. I heard some footsteps, so. Ooh. Um. Of some characters. This is very reminiscent of the first game. Where you have to check your right and left door and stop the characters from getting in to your uh, office, or in this case, your bedroom, because you're a kid uh, and you're trying to, well, in this story, make it through a, uh, a coma. Um, Because you've been, uh, well, you've been bitten uh, by one of the characters. Oh, there's Freddy. One of the things just activated, so. Okay. Which means they're probably going to start activating now. Ooh, did you see that? Holy cow. Okay. Back to Chica. Just checking. Whew, dang, dude. Back to Chica. And, um... Yeah, it's just, like I said, again, just very scary and stuff, so... But, yeah, no, I'm sorry. Before that, I was talking about uh, how the character was bitten. He's still at the end of the hall. Dang, dude. He really wants to spawn. He wants to sneak in. But I was talking about um, how one of the characters was bitten by one of the animatronics. And again, throughout the game's like teasing and stuff, um, like throughout the teasing of the game, the teasers were like, oh, was it me? Was it me? And it went through all the characters. And then there was a big one who, again, we'll get to later in the game. I'm keeping an eye on things tonight. I know things just get a little bit more complicated. I heard that. To the right. Someone's there. Whew. Okay, I made it. That wasn't too bad. Uh, it's, again, once the later nights progress, things start getting difficult, and you just have to go back and forth, and it, it gets crazy. Alright, four days until the party. Obviously, he's still saying they're his friends. You know he is hiding again, and he's referring to his brother. Um, there's Fredbear again. He won't stop until you find him. This is presumably the sister's room, uh, and that's Mangle on the floor, or at least a representation of Mangle over there. And then here's the house, right? So this is the main living room. And then obviously he'll jump scare his little brother and try to scare him, but yeah. Tomorrow is another day. Alright, so we get this as well. This is cool. So this is an extra minigame. So basically, in this minigame, right, you have to hold your shot, your flashlight on plus strap, and he'll move. And you'll hear him move. Um, or he, he won't. But let's see if you can hear his pitter-patter. Oh, 
Ah, sí. Okay, so he's over to the left. I'm waiting for him to move. But this mini game, right? And I know it's a lot to be introduced to. This will help you progress two hours in the night. Dang it. Ugh. Okay. No, yeah, I didn't get it. You have to be a little more lenient. Unfortunately, I didn't get it. But yeah, you have to be a little more lenient in order to do that. But let's begin night two. We'll do night two, uh, and then that'll be today's video. So. Bonnie was at the end of the hall. Okay, there was breathing there. Oh, great. Okay, just checking. I have to go check Bonnie here. Oh my gosh! Okay. Okay, that's enough for me. Whew. No Bonnie. We're good. Okay, so yeah, so Foxy, he sneaks into your room. And he'll try and uh, get in. And then once he gets in, then you kind of have to, you have to, uh, this side, let's go get Bonnie. <sighs> um, you have to check your closet periodically and make sure that, uh, he isn't active. I'm doing like a faster strategy because I'm, like I said. Ooh. She's at the end of the hall. Um, like I said, because I'm used to it, and I'm trying to make sure that Chica or Bonnie doesn't get in. I need to be more careful in checking the hallway. Fox is doing decent, man. Like, usually Fox is like ten times more active. I heard footsteps. I'm going to go check Bonnie real quick, and then I'll go after Foxy. <sighs> Chica. There's Freddy. His little freddles. 
Okay, Chica is making some noise. Okay. Close you. We're good to go. I'm worried, Bonnie. I'm not checking him as often. Just making sure. Gosh. Let's go check Bonnie, make sure. And then we'll check Foxy. Okay, Bonnie's here. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna go check Chica, and then we'll go check Freddy. That was pretty close. Let's go check Chica one more time. I'm hearing footsteps. That was... <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh. <laughs> Great. I thought I had it in the bag. I closed the door and, and I was like, okay. And then I got jump scared. Oh my gosh. Whew. That was scary. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut ahead when I beat night two. And once that moment happens, you guys will see that. Holy cow. I literally freaked myself out. And then once we get there, we'll I'll show you guys what happens after that. So see you guys in a little bit. Didn't take that long. Just a few attempts after. <sighs> Holy cow. <laughs> I'm already struggling on night two. So yeah, uh, in this game, obviously, uh, since I, I know I talked about in the first mini game, the second one, you play as the crying child's, or the, the son of William Afton, right? The crying child. Um, he knows that you hate it here. You're right beside the exit. If you run, you can make it. Hurry, run toward the exit. I, if you go back though, no, don't, you remember what you saw? The exit is the other way, hurry and leave. Ah, oh, okay. I'm pretty sure there's a way you can get an Easter egg. Oh, hurry, uh, it's too late, hurry the other way and find someone who can help you. You know what will happen if he catches you. You can help. Oh, you can find help if you get past them. You have to be strong. So I think if you go back, you can see purple guy fitting someone in a suit. Uh, it's an Easter egg. So, but I wanted to put that out there. Uh, but yeah, so you play as the uh, the purple guy's son, uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Obviously, he's wearing a springlock suit, and then those uh, characters on the stage, the shadows, those are actual animatronics. So he's wearing a suit, and then those are that. And then, obviously, you get the text, tomorrow's another day. So the, the 
I'm gonna end it here. Oh, after fun with plus trap, but yeah. Um, each, like, each uh, mini game, you get tormented because you've had trauma from your brother scaring you, uh, and then so then you have to overcome that fear um, with the mini games, but. Dang, I was going to try. I did it at one. But anyway, so we're going to end it here. Um, I believe it's... What is it? There we go. All right. So, yeah. First two nights were cool. It was a little bit scary. But, yeah, this one has to do with the bite and everything and... You know, our main character, obviously, that we play as, presumably, you know, the crying child, which is obviously William's son, and we play him in this game, where he has, I guess, nightmares, and he's traumatized by these nightmare animatronics. They're pretty creepy. I got scared, so, um, but yeah. Anyway, thanks everybody so much for watching. Uh, in the next uh, episode... We'll see what happens to the uh, main character, a.k.a. the crying child. And I believe in Night 5, you get to find a really cool, interesting uh, thing. Which, uh, I, well, I, I, will not, I won't go into it, but uh, we'll call it the... Uh, Bite of 87! So, yeah. Anyway, thanks everybody so much for watching. And, uh, yeah. Have a great day, guys. And, uh, bye!